Yo! What's up, guys? It's me, your boy B, back here on the flipping YouTube channel. We're we're doing this again, guys. I don't I don't know why I said I'm gonna do this, play the entire Amnesia series, but I freaking did. And you know what? I'm a guy who stays true to my word, so we're freaking back in this freaking nightmare, dude. I literally hate this game. And I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing this for you guys. Like, all right, actually, I guess I do know why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for you guys, all right? So if you guys are enjoying the Amnesia series, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys could uh, hit the bell notifications to know when the video goes live. And we're just gonna have a jolly old time. Well, actually, not a jolly old time. We're gonna have a frightening old time here in the world of amnesia all right guys so if you guys haven't watched my last video i highly suggest you guys do in the last video we explored the archives which was down there as well as going into the wine cellar to gather all four of the chemicals in order to create an unsuccessful like artificial vitae i don't know if this is what's going to happen once we uh, you know create this but <clears throat> According to journal logs, um, this creates, you know, this this creates like some sort of acidic, you know, type of chemical, which is going to help uh, get rid of this nasty little flesh-like goo. So, um, yeah, we have to go into the lab, but it's clearly being blocked off by some freaking goo. We're just gonna have to jump over this. Um, I got a feeling that things are just gonna start picking up like crazy, and I'm gonna be shitting my pants, um, you know, more frequently, and that's something that- Aha! Let me reload. And that's something that I don't like doing, okay? Because I hate horror games, okay? Sorry, we took damage. I don't have any more healings, so I gotta just reload. So, yeah, guys, that's what we're going to be doing today. I, I don't like this game. And um, there's some guy who wrote in the, or I don't know, guy or girl, somebody, wrote in the premiere. Can you turn up the volume? It was at 2. I turned it up to 3. I'm not turning it up any higher. I'm not turning it up any higher. It's way too loud. It's way too loud. Is 4 okay? We were playing it at 2. Yeah, it's just like too loud, bro. I, I can't, dude. I can't. I can't. Please. Please. And it's not like I want it to be this low. It's like the, it's like the volume settings are horrible. It's just one setting. Master volume. And it sounds loud as shit to me. It's, I'm not playing this game and it's like quiet as hell. No, like I can hear everything clear as day. But maybe not like... Um, for the YouTube video, you guys can't hear it too well. The old archives. Dude, we could go back, actually, now that I think about it. I wonder if there's anything if you go back. Oh, you, okay, you can't go back. Alright, guys, so what's so basically what we're doing for today on our objectives is we got to um, create the Vitae in order to, you know, create the, this acidic sort of chemical in order to... Um... um dissolve the, the flesh right here. So let's just do it. I just have a feeling that something absolutely horrible is gonna happen in the laboratory. So let's just freaking go. I hate this game. The cloth, the cloth smelled of desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them were too few. Perhaps he thought. Okay, ominous sounding music is playing. And <clears throat> I'm shaking. But I'm crystal clear. Jesus. Is it just me or does the laboratory look different? Oh yeah, this thing is like spooky, right? Alright, so I'm always keeping my eye out for like... Where I can hide. Because your boy is... Li huh? Oh, Jesus. 
Your boy, I hate this game. I literally hate this game. Dude, what's that? What's up with these, like, freaking. Please don't kill me. Freaking scared, guys. I'm freaking scared. Oh yeah, we found this cool little um <clears throat> There's something like magical in here. Kind of reminds me of like what we found in the the tomb of Tin Hanan. <clears throat> we found like a um um like a glowing thing. All right, fuck it. Why am I shaking, dude? Please, please. It says your sanity is crystal clear, though. Huh? What's going on? Alright, so we're putting the chemicals in. Oh, Jesus. Let me save real quick. Oh, I hate how you can't... You can't save and just, like... Continue with the game. You have to save and exit. Fuck it. I'm just putting them all in. If something happens... Oh! I see something. I'm looking out for you, mother motherfucker. Oh, God, I hate this game. It doesn't change. It doesn't freaking change. Blocking the door. Fudge that. I'm blocking the door. That should definitely ward off any sort of crazy, scary demons, right? Oh god, please. Please, please, please. What does this do? Nothing's moving. Oh, there we go. Okay, now what? Okay. Oh, jeez. A slight headache. Fuck it. We're just going all the way in. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. Oh, please, please, please. Dude, I hate this game. Alright. Fuck it.
Oh, I'm running. I'm running. Fuck, 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 fuck. Wait, what? What happened? How did this thing get destroyed? Fuck that. Turn the lights on this in this motherfucker. Turn the lights on in this motherfucker. Fuck that, boy. You motherfucking thought. Oh, shit. Why does it seem like this opened up a little bit more? So this is what we're supposed to use. We're supposed to use this plank right here. I see. Ah, and it just like auto does it for you. Okay, that's nice. Okay, that's nice. Okay, no scary monster here. Just let me do this just in case. Well, he was here. Something was here. Okay. All right, that wasn't so bad. It's just the sound design and like just everything. I'm just scared something's gonna pop up at me. Like, oh god. It's just like, I don't know. Oh shit, now the whole shit is, excuse my language, but now everything is all gooed up. I don't wanna like waste the goo, you know? I don't want to waste the goo. Um, let's try, let's try it on here first. Huh? Who's there? Uh, oh, please, 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 please. Okay. Cannot use this item this way? What? What do you mean? So what am I supposed to use the acid for? How many tinders? We got four tinders. We got three oils. We're looking high. We're looking high. Okay, what is my volume at? I, I turned up to four, right, for you guys? Oh no, it's at three. Yeah, F that. It's like, dude, it's not, I promise you guys, it's not low in my ears. It's loud as shit in my ears, bros. I promise you. What the fudge? Oh, that's just the normal stuff. Okay, what, what am I supposed to do? Cannot use the item this way? Fuck. So, we created this goo. And... <clears throat> it looks like whatever is trying to get us in here... Doesn't want us to... Doesn't want us to... Oh, here we go. Remove the shadows, residue in the entrance hall, and amnesia. Okay. So this is what we're supposed to use it for. Uh, can we go back and fill up the pot again? I think that's what we're gonna do. Ah! Okay. That's not good. I don't know how we didn't take damage earlier. Um, so you can actually die from just, like, stepping on that red stuff? That's, uh, kind of annoying. Um, I'm, I'm assuming we have to refill it up? There's no one down here, right? This scary monster is gone. You're gone, right? You're not here anymore, alright? We're good. There's no one here trying to harm me. Or scare me? What? Cannot use the item this way? No object to use item on. So was this just a one and done kind of thing? But there's so many more other things that we need to open up with the acid, though. 
Ah, uh, jeez. All right, well, we need more oil. God damn it. I literally... I don't like this game. I don't like this game at all. It's absolutely horrifying. And here, let's throw some of these uh, bottles down here. Let's see if the, the, the demon likes... Ah! Jeez, that's loud, man. See, it's so loud in my ear. I promise you guys, it's not low. It might be low for you guys. But it's not low. It's not low. Oh, we missed that. A little tinder there. We found a little tinder box. Let's just keep dropping stuff down here. Maybe the maybe this will appease the spirit's anger towards us because he seems very upset with us. Uh, I'm not personally sure why, but it is. It is. So we can't use this chemistry pot again. That's that's kind of unfortunate. Cannot use this item this way. Why? There's still liquid left in here. Ah, right, fuck it. I'm running. Like, guys, it's loud, bro. Trust me. This shit is loud. Like, literally. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not that great at like mixing and mass mixing the sounds and stuff. So my bad if it's like you know maybe. It's not so great in the audio department. It's a one-man show here, right, guys? It's a one-man show. Alright, so that was where we were supposed to go. We were supposed to go to this area, which I'm not sure. What is this? So, oh, God. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is where Alexander said in the flashbacks, that's where the thing is hiding. The shadow is hiding in the refinery. So here goes nothing. We're going to the refinery. So today's refinery video. F it. It became impossible to avoid the commotion. The streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. Jeez. So we got a little uh, corruption here. Okay. Light you up. Oh, jeez. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Yeah, it is. Thanks for the advice, freaking creep. So just keep going straight and don't stray. Dude, something bad is gonna happen here. Something absolutely effed is gonna happen here. Huh? Okay, guys. We're good. I'm good. I am shitting my pants. Be careful when enemies are near. What? What do you mean? Alright, well, it's telling me enemies are about to be near. We had that little dialogue saying, hey, motherfucker, why is it so dark in here, huh? Why is it so dark in here? Ah! Oh, there he is. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. It's... It's just me, Alexander Brennenberg, not Daniel. It's not Daniel. You don't want to eat me. You want to... Oh, God. Okay. 
Okay, so something's in here. Oh, fuck. It's loud, guys. There's a door right there. Oh shit, oh dude, I'm thinking I'm seeing things, dude. I'm thinking I'm seeing things. Oh fuck, please. Please, God. Okay. So we have cheese spots. We do have cheese spots. Oh, I wasted that frick. It was literally there's two lamps right here, dude. So we have cheese spots to outmaneuver this whatever the heck is is. I just throw some stuff across to try to attract him. Maybe we'll maybe we'll bring him out. Bring him out, bring him out. Okay, we use I used my last tinder box. I'm effed. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Twenty second of June, eighteen thirty nine. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision in retrospect, but I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it, lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? I don't know, Daniel, okay? No one freaking knows, okay? No one knows what's going on in your freaking psychopathic mind. I need, I need tinder boxes, please. No, I don't need oil. I need tinder boxes. Okay, I'm, I'm terrified right now. I'm, I'm literally shitting the bed. Oh, there's a, there's a tinder box. Yes. Okay, we're gonna light this room up. We're gonna light this room up. This is where the thing was coming from. This is where the beast was coming from. He came from here. Dude, something's gonna happen here. I just, I just know it. I just know it. I just know it. Okay. Please, scary demon. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's me, Alexander. It's not, it's not, the, it's not, it's not Daniel. I'm your friend. Alexander, see, I'm the bad guy, right? Alexander's the bad guy. He's the sketch ball. I'm gonna put a lantern up in each room, because fudge this, dude. 
Fudge this. Guys, you're about to hear me scream like a little biatch soon. I can already feel it. I'm about to scream like a little biatch soon. The hell? They got, they got dogs here? I'm hearing like barking. Guys, trust me, the game is loud AF. Oh, Tinder, yes, thank god. Um, yeah, this room is good. We already have two uh, two lights in here. We're good. Can we pull the lever now? Crunk, pull the lever! What's stopping this? Something is freaking down here, man. Some freaking goon, like the freaking, that, that freaking thing from the Goonies. That motherfucker down here, bro. That motherfucker down here. So, like, this kind of shows me, like, dude, something is gonna happen here. Like, that we're gonna have to use this crouch space. To, like, not die. You know? What's my oil at? Oil is slowly going down, but we've been picking up oil as we've been going, so... We're okay. Hello? Huh? Ah! Oh shit. Okay, both the- someone just locked me in here. Hey. I know you're a little bit angry at me, I promise you. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. We are not enemies. We can just hang out together. And no one has to, no one has to, you know, no one has to die. We can just go hang out at the Chuck E. Cheese's and we'll be good. We'll be good. Is that like a pig down here or something? 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, all right, Daniel. Hurry up! Come on, hurry up with it. Get to the point, okay? What's the? What are you, what are you trying to get at? And notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. <gasps> I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. Will Smith? The subject with care, and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass. How it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Is that true? Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. God. How many tinders did we get? We got two tinders from that. Alright, so motherfucker close this in. I'm not scared of you. Okay, I am scared of you. I lied. Huh? 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 This is my safe zone. This is my safe zone right here. Uh. Oh, jeez. What is clogging this? Oh shit. Oh no 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 no. Someone's coming. Huh?
No tinder boxes, fuck. Fudge, 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 fudge. Excuse my language. I I can't I I have to curse, dude. It's This is like literally the worst thing ever. So was that Daniel saying something's coming? I think it was. Alright. The rope won't pull the hatch open. Something must be clogging the pulley. I mean... Yeah, but... I, I can't find it. Guys. Alright, fuck it. I'm running. We're just gonna let whatever's here know that we're here. I'm here, okay? You don't have to be... Shy anymore. You can show yourself. Let's take this leg. Maybe if we feed him... You like, do you like, um... Calves? Do you like thighs and calves, sir? I have a nice thigh and calf for you right here. We could, we could, we could roast it a little bit if you like a nice little barbecue style. I'm just gonna leave it right there for you. Okay. Just please don't, just don't hurt me. Right, I'm gonna take Larry over here. Larry the leg. And he's going to protect me. Larry? Why is there a chair in this corner? It's sketch. Oh, Shiba. No, 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 no. I'm opening. Leave all the doors open, motherfucker. Oh, God. Why did I agree to play this stupid game? Alright guys, we're about 35 minutes into the video. I'm already losing my sanity. And it's not looking good. Oh, no, no, I need the leg. This is my protective charm. This is the this is this is my curse tool. This is my curse tool. Alright, reversing a special grade curse, Bruh. okay? Huh? Reversing a special grade. We need this. We need the special grade tools in order to deal with them. This is my special grade tool. The freaking leg of freaking Sukuna right here. Uh -huh. Stay back, damn it! Oh, that's what's blocking it. I see. So we have Sukuna's leg right here. Okay. It's the it's our curse tool. It's our curse tool. We're using it to fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Oh shit! Oh no 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 no! Oh god! Why isn't this popping out? I'm closing this fucking door. I'm closing this door. I think this door was closed for a reason and blocked with this for a reason. Cause fuck that. Something's about to pop up once we open, once we unplug that shit. I just got the. Oh yes. I just got a feeling. I just got a feeling once we unplug that shit, something's about to fucking pop out and freaking, freaking show ninjas. Okay, something's about to pop out and show ninjas. Once we pull this ish out of here, I just got I just got a feeling. So I think the game was trying to tell us, hey, leave this, leave these barrels here. And you know what? We're gonna triple, double, quadruple reinforce this shit. Okay. Fuck that, dude. Fuck this. Oh, Shiva, dude. I am. I'm. I'm literally. It's- it's too much. 
Huh? Ah, please, 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 please. Okay, let me get Sukuna's leg. We gotta get Sukuna's leg. Sukuna? I know you're scarier than this monster. I know you're scarier than it. I know you could- I know you're the king of curses, okay? Not this thing, whatever's in here. This thing is a baby compared to you, Sukuna. Okay? Help me out. Help me out. Hey, this kind of does look like a finger, doesn't it? So I guess maybe this is the finger of Sukuna. Huh. Okay, we have Sukuna's finger. I'm taking it with me. Okay, there's already a light. Okay, that's not a very inviting, welcoming sound. But we have Sukuna's finger. Alright, we have a special grade cursed object. Okay. And if this motherfucker wants to play games, oh, we're gonna play games. Seller archives. No, we can't bring Sukuna's finger with us. Shit. All right, Sukuna's finger, you are going to stay right here and protect the doorway. Cellar archives? He crashed through the surface. The dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. What does that mean? Okay, this place is like lit up though. It's not lit up anymore. What the fuck? Wait, wait, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? What? He's right here. Hey, buddy. I know you're here. Are you friendly? Dude, is this like a jump? This is the jump quest of death right here. This is literally the jump quest of death. Hey, friend. Oh, shit. Ah! Okay. I'm not scared. Good. We're good. Everything is perfectly fine. Okay, uh, I'm stuck though. Right, so we have to make it there. Alright, fuck it. Ah! 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 Ha 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 ha! Okay. Okay, well, this is a fun game to play, isn't it? Oh! Oh! Okay, he likes, uh... He's a water guy. He's a, he's a swimmer. He's a little swimmer guy. Maybe if we get a book, and we can, like, distract him. Oh, we can! We can distract him! Look at that! I'm using my noggin here. We're using our noggin. Man, get your ass back over there! Be gone, demon! The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! What the hell? What? What? There must be an op good opening mechanism? Where? Bitch, where? Okay. Ah! <clears throat> Bitch, where? Alright, so what we gotta do here is we gotta... We gotta get this book. 
We gotta send him over here. All right, we sending him over there. The music is intense right now. He's still following though. He's close, he's close. Uh, I'm scared, I'm scared. We're just running for it. I'm just gonna run for it. There was two doorways. One was here and the other one was a little bit further down. Oh shit, what's that like pink? Oh god, he's right here. Please, man, just leave me alone, please. Alright, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Ah! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, he can come in here too. Okay, we get it. You can come in here too. Huh. We got a little skull here. Health. Um, hey friend, can you leave me alone, please? Just go out. Okay? Just go out and just don't come back, okay? Please. Just go, don't return, ever. Oh, he's coming back. Yo, chill. Let's just throw it again. Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh! Shit. Okay, he's a... He's a friendly guy, right? He likes getting real close, up close, and personal. I don't like that, though. Oh! He's real close. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a he's a little he's a little sketch guy, huh? So we gotta find some sort of like mechanism, right, to unlock. Yeah, go over there, asshole. All right, screw you, bitch. I'm not scared of you. Oh shit, we need a um, I need a book before we leave. Oh, oh my god, we're almost out of light. Uh, okay, so we get this one. So what we're gonna do here, right? What we're gonna do here, right? Is we're gonna do this. We're gonna jump here. Yep. Jump here. Yep. And send his ass back. Send your ass back to the shadow realm. Ass wipe. Wait, what? He didn't go back? Oh fuck! All right, we're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh shit! I'm not dead. Okay, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Ah, oh, Shiba though. I need another book though. Dude, I might be dead. I don't have any other books. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we good, we good. You just gotta move faster than him. We're faster than you. I'm faster than you, asshole. Fuck you. You don't scare me. I have the power of the Bible. Ah! Okay, I was hoping for like more tinders. Yeah, we got the bite. You see this ish? You see this motherfucking book demon? Biblia! We have the Biblia on our side. You don't scare me. I'm looking for tinders though and like oils and shit. You know? Looks like there are none here. Yeah, we got the freaking Biblia on your ass. We're about to send the Biblia on your ass. Bitch! Bitch! Send the Biblia on your ass, motherfucker. I'm just running, I'm running. Ah, okay. Let me go. Ah, we go here. We don't need our lantern here. We're good. We're good. 
We're good. So that was a little bit strange. We came into this room. Everything seemed to be like chill. And then we entered into some, like some like alternate dimension. And then everything was not chill. And... Bro, please! What?! Huh? Bro, I, I just clicked, I clicked the button. I clicked the button and we're out of oil. Dude, what, what's going on? What's going on, dude? I, I clicked the button. I pulled the lever. Where is he? Why is there like this nasty little like... Freaking... Pink... D dust in my face, bro. Where is he? He's somewhere here. He's not showing himself. Oh, he's a little sneaky guy, huh? No, there, there's no lever in here. Oh, he's right there. Oh, hey, buddy. You're here again. <laughs> oh, you're getting right up close and personal, eh? Okay, that's fine. Two can play at that game, asshole. Alright, screw you, biatch. Let's guide him over here. Yeah, I'm confused. Like, we pulled the lever. Maybe we pulled it the wrong way? Who is this, by the way? Oh, dude, that is, like, so frightening, dude. Oh, he's here. He's ready. He's, he's ready. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta move. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. We gotta go, we gotta go. I think we have to do it like fast. Ah! 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 Please! There's another one! There's another one! Ah, okay. Oh, who the heck is this? Oh god, it's someone's torso. Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, okay, is this- we got Tsukuna's special grade curse object right here. Yeah, go over there, asshole. I don't- I don't like you. I don't like you. Oh! Oh, he's eating that thing! Oh, he's eating that thing! Oh, yes, more oil. Can I- can I throw the box at him? No, he's- he's indestructible. He's invincible. He likes he likes human flesh though. Here, doggy doggy, you want a little tree? There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead, eat that. Yeah, go eat that. Oh. Yeah, and then I want you to go eat that, and then I want you to eat that as well. Yeah, eat that. Please! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ah, uh, shit, I'm dead. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. Oh! Uh, dead flesh can act as a distraction. Oh, thanks, Frictional Games. It's not like I didn't know that. It's not like I was pooping my pants the entire time. Thank you, Frictional Games, for letting me know. You can eat that. Eat that. Oh, he's all over there. Okay. Yeah, 
Just go eat everything. Just eat everything, brother. Just eat all that shit. Eat all that shit. You can eat this, and you can eat this. You can eat that. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Dude, fuck. Ah. Wait, 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 close the door. Close the door, fuck. Oh, please, God. What is this? An EpiPen? Hollow Needle? What does that mean? Can he open the door? Hell nah, this guy does not know how to open door, right? Archive tunnel? Is he coming through the door? Oh hell nah. Hell nah. What is this? A strong surgical needle? Yeah, you can't open doors. You're a freaking ghost. Okay. What? It's locked with a simple lock? Surgical needle, right? Oh, yes. Please, get me out, get me out, get me out. Archive tunnel. Something large brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help, he cried and as the ocean swallowed him again. What the fudge, dude? Yo, whoever... Oh, the nightmare's not over. Oh, thank you, Frictional Games. The nightmare isn't over. Jeez, this got like Patrick Star or something like that. Who is that? Oh god, oh god, oh god, please, please, please. I'm dead, I think. Just run! 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 Ah! Uh, okay. I'm running! I'm just running! I'm just running! I'm just running! I'm just running. I'm just running. <gasps> he felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. The lacquer of the hull of SS Hortonesia glittered in the soothing, warm yellow light of a setting sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean reaching towards the coast of Portugal and thought, Is this another dream? Oh, God. All right, so we just dealt with our first special grade cursed... Uh, special grade curse. What is that? Is that like a cock and balls up there? What the hell? I don't know. He, what the fuck? Who the fuck is this? What the hell? Oh, it's just a statue. God damn, why is it just legs? What is this? What the hell? Jeez, that thing looking mad creepy. It's like a baby face. Alright, where am I? Oh, please, 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 please. Okay. He. <laughs> All right, guys. That was our. We just. We just. We just fought the uh, the special gray curse. Stop. Curse. Okay. We fought Sukuna's. Frick, we fought. We fought freaking Gojo. From freaking the Jujutsu Kaisen. Freaking Hanami. We just freaking finished fighting Hanami. Gee. 
Jesus Christ. Or more like Dagon from Jujutsu Kaisen, because we were in the water level. If you guys catch my vibe. So it looks like we're in some new study. Okay, so we're in an entirely new, um... Uh... Um... Uh... Like, hub. Like, you know how in the- there's a- in the- the entrance hall, it had like a whole little area of different rooms that you could go into, and- uh, and now here, we have an uh, entire, like, headquarters that we can hang out in, that, um, we have to go through each of the rooms, figure everything out, and, um, I don't know what the hell this is, but, you know, it- just freaking whatever. Some Alexander of Brennenburg head ass. This is like some freaking yeah. This is definitely the freaking cursed tool right here. Cursed tool object or whatever you call it. Um. So this door just opened up. Who's in here? Who's in here? Oh no, hell no. Nah. Uh, we did get a little bit of oil. We got a little bit of tinder as well. And we actually didn't consume the hollow needle in the process. So. I like the music here though, it's making it less scary, so that's good. This thing is creepy. Let's take a screenshot of this so I can make this my thumbnail. There's like never a right time to take screenshots because like dude I'm always freaking shitting my pants. Oh and look at this guys! Ah I see. So we have the Black Eagle. This is the Order of the Black Eagle. This is definitely their headquarters so... It looks like Alexander Brennenberg is leading this sort of thing. Oh, we got bloodstains here. Bloodstains leading to the room that just magically opened up. Okay. Okay. I'm just looking around, seeing if we can get any more um, consumables, uh, oils, uh, just anything. Oil, tinderbox. What time are we at? What time are we at? Okay, yeah, we're at an hour. This is a great spot to save, so we could break the immersion a little bit. I don't like how you have to exit, but whatever. Sorry, I just want to save because we have gotten stuck in this game before, and like, we had to a point where we weren't able to even move forward in the game. What the hell is it? This is some freaking cursed tool. Freaking. Crazy business going on. Oh, and look at this. We have, like, water here. Like, these, like, pathways. Are these, like, channels? <clears throat> Motherfucker. That shit's about to start filling up with blood soon. <clears throat> I'm already seeing it. I'm already, I'm already seeing it in my head. Alright, so let's not end the video just yet. I want to give you guys a little bit more time. An hour is just that that's some that's some wussy stuff right there. We gotta go a little bit a little bit more. So this door opened up, so let's just let's just go through it. Don't close behind me, damn it. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. Well. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. So we're going down instead of up. So yeah, it looks like Daniel and Alexander were... You know, it, close with each other. They were... You know, Alexander was leading Daniel somewhere, showing him something, I, I don't know. But I like this area, because this is like a nice place where you could just like, kind of, um, do whatever, do what you please, kind of. Oh, maybe not. Machine room is locked. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. So, it's telling, the game's telling you, hey, let's go to this, uh, basement area, but let me check out the other rooms. Let's see if they, these are locked as well or not. Oh, they're not, okay. Herbert's trunk was wrapped in rope. The lock had been broken by thieves, he assumed. He wondered if anything had been left considering all the hands it had passed. I don't know. Oh, shit. Mm 
Okay, I don't like this. Everything looked like so destroyed earlier, and now this is so um like kept. Everything looked unkempt. Oh jeez, yeah, this about to be a ghost up in this biage. This looks mad ghostly. Oh wow, we can actually see the outside a little bit better. That's cool. So we're in the study. Oh, and I'm hearing things. God damn it. Letter regarding the discovery of... What the hell of it? Why is there like this weird music going on? A uh, letter regarding the discovery of an Oro. What is that? To my most truly, to my most trusted student and friend, jo Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as Heliodromnus ascribed it in the Hortus Conclusus. What? It was as it was told about an under. Sorry, I'm like shaking. An underground Mithraic temple. What? Crowned with an unearthly artifact, the orb was big enough to fill up my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed. While rich, contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured with stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Alstad. Okay, that's something that I remember. Investigating one of the un uh, the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly you could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. Okay, this shit is way too long. We'll read it at the end. So I'm hearing things. So something's here. Oh, God damn it. Something's always here, bro. There's never a moment where you could just chill in this game, I feel like. There's never a moment where it's like, hey, let's just chill. Except for that earlier. Oh, Jesus, save me, please, please. I'm carrying this shit. I'm carrying this shit the entire way. Jesus. The power of Christ compels you. The po oh, are, we're losing our sanity. It's because I think we're in darkness. Oh, but it says we're crystal clear. The power of Christ compels you. Leave me alone, damn it. You're scaring me. We'll read the notes at the end. Is anyone there? Hey, no. Gotta bring Jesus in here with us. Here, Jesus. You guard the front section, okay? You guard the front. Make sure there's no scary demons that's gonna attack me. We're crystal clear, but we're like, our vision's a little messed up. What's this? Oh, jeez, that was heavy. Alright, Jesus is gonna save us here this game, okay? God, my vision is getting so blurred out. Oh, maybe we could use Jesus to break open this glass. Let's check it out. Ah! There we go. Nothing was in there though. Oh no, no, Jesus, you gotta you gotta you gotta guard the front. Jesus, you're on the you're on duty right now, okay? You gotta help me. I'm I'm scared. Oh, more more crosses. Yeah, give me this cross. Wait, that's not Jesus. Whatever, it's a cross. Get your freaking freaky ass out of here, demon. But I said Jesus on your ass, boy. So we're in a room called the study. We have to find a room to the find a key to the machine room. What is this, a bust? Oh, look at this. What is this? What is this cool? It's like a little knight. I like this. You got like figurines and stuff. Yeah, they got like dogs in this motherfucker or something like that. Like, something keeps on barking in my ear. Are you guys hearing that? I think it's, it's freaking creepy. Let's clear out this room. 
maybe there's like some hidden stuff here. Usually there's like potentially like tinder boxes, you know, uh, survival stuff here. Um, looks like nothing in this corner, just a bunch of chairs stacked up on each other. I guess that's chill. Oh god, it's the piano. There's the piano monster. He likes playing the piano. I think it's potentially Mozart's dead cousin. Potentially. Let's see what else we got in here. I just want to make sure we're not missing anything. You know, uh, this, we are playing a survival horror game, so every little thing counts. You know, every little tinder box, every little treasure um, that can help us survive. It's always good. God damn, bro. Oh, here we go. We got some treasures up here, potentially. Oh, oh no. Yeah, you guys hear that? That's like a freaking dog up in my ear, dude. Like, why is there dogs here? Let's get some clothes here. We already opened this, right? Okay, yeah, we're good. Alright, Jesus is gonna save us, guys. Okay. Just have faith, alright? That's all he asks of you. Is have ye faith. Ye, oh, ye of little faith, have it. I'm not scared of you, demon. Show yourself. You don't scare me. Okay, well, that, that kind of scared me. Oh, oil. Oh, ah! Oh, this is our opportunity. Daniel, just just leave. Just leave, Daniel. We don't need to light this hallway up. It's kind of fairly lit up. Um, we already explored this, right? Yeah, we did. There was nothing here. Just looking for um, you know, survival items. Where's my cross? I need my I need Jesus. I need Jesus. Where do you go? Uh-oh. Ah, uh, there you are, buddy. It's not it's not an ambiguous Jesus. Oh, th this is Jesus for real. Jesus, help me. Okay? The scary demons. And you are the one who has, you know... The demons, they bow down to you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This door's gonna fling open. No, it's not. Huh? Bro, what? How the fuck did just- Man, who did- Who just put rocks here, dude? Who just put rocks here? Oh, hell nah. I need- I need Jesus. Get your ass back. Bring your ass back here, Jesus. You're not- I'm not done with you just yet. And we're gonna leave you out here for now. It looks like there's like some thing you could kind of cheese here. Huh? Oh god, look at this! So the pink goo? It's actually on the outside of the- oh shit. It's actually on the out- it's actually outside of the- Of the castle, it's not just strictly inside the castle only. Where is this? Where am I? Hold on. Let's explore that other room first before we um, head over to this place. Okay. Hopefully we don't fall and die. Thankfully, there's like very little space in between, so we're gonna be all right. Alright, Jesus, my friend, I need you. 
I need you now. Yeah, I need you to be facing me like this. Alright. Here, we're gonna leave good old Jesus right in the center here. He's gonna be guarding the place. How do you, like, rotate? I'm about to close this door because motherfucker about to pull up. So, oh, jeez. Let's see what you have to offer. That's why I was hearing dog noises. Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. What do you mean? What do you mean it's definitely there? What do you mean? So that's why I was hearing like dog noises and stuff. Oh god, look at this, this is a dog head. Ugh. It's a little nasty. Ugh, look at that. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, this Alexander. Yeah, you hear that? That's like that's like a shit up dog. Hiya! <clears throat> I wonder if we're about to fight like a dog demon. The canine spine? Oh, I think we're supposed to like. Put this here? No. Why is this guy so interested in canine? The hell? <clears throat> um, mannequins. That's one thing I hate in horror games are mannequins and taxidermied animals. That is something that I don't like. We got some shears, more dog heads. Milestones of human anatomy? Yo, chill. Chambers of the human skull? So this guy was on his freaking biological vibes. Freaking, what's this? Animal experiment. <clears throat> Let's read all of the notes at the end, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. So, oh, look at this, guys. Very interesting. We have a lit fire. So, it looks like someone was potentially here. You know, it looks like, you know, this someone was here. The heck? Who is this? This guy looked like a zombie, bro. You better not freaking start moving. I'm gonna punch you, dude. Why does he have a why does he have a schlong? Man, he's a man, what the hell? Why is that shit so tiny? Ah! Oh! Hello. Oh god, dude, this guy is freaky deaky. Anatomy, whatever. Whatever, dude. Who are you? Dude's got human skulls, human bones, femurs and shit. God damn, man. Dude is on his freaky shit, boy. What the hell? Get this freaking crap out of here. Is there anything we could pick up? It was just that note there, I believe. We could pick up. Oh, we could light this fire, actually, but we don't need to. They already have a... A furnace going on. Um, so yeah, like I said, it looks like potentially... Um, someone was here recently. Because, I mean, this thing is still burning on fire. So... I don't know, man. Can we, like, mess with this image? Dude, this thing looks freaky as hell. I gotta check my behind my back and shit. This shit that bad. Oh, oh. oh, okay, no, that was just the. The heck is that? Why did it sound so wet? All right, we're good. Jesus is guarding the front entrance. We're good. We got more canine shit. Is there anything else in here that we need? I don't think so. J 
Jesus, you're coming with. This is my new favorite thing in the game, is Jesus. Please, come save me and don't let this guy eat my face, please. Alright, Jesus, we're gonna do a little parkour, okay? Hopefully you don't mind. So we're in the study. We just finished the refinery, guys. Now we're in the study. Um, I feel like we could have gone to that, uh... Have to get out of here. I have to get out of here? Uh, yeah, of course, dude. Emergency decelerator. Oh shit, our oil is out, or our, our lantern's cooked. Um, we got another one of these things. Elevator schematics, dot 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 dot. What is this? Probably some sort of sick freaking harvesting chamber. Elevator renovation plans. Bro, bro was out here renovating this freaking castle? Bro, this dude is a psychopath. Chamber controller, using steam power for elevation. Elevator schematics, god damn, bro. All right, what's this? So usually we got like a quote here. Yeah, when will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind does not even have, not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. <clears throat> what? Guys, part two of my amnesia video just dropped on the premiere skis. Check it out, okay? Check it out. Alright. Please and thank you. Like the video if you could. I would greatly appreciate it. I would greatly appreciate it. Let me read this again. Uh, what does this mean? When will it be my turn? <clears throat> Sorry, hold on. When will it be my turn? Wait, oh shoot. Hey, what's this? That's like a cog wheel? I don't think it does anything. Let me read this again. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who in all fairness should have entered that gate. Who is this guy talking, though? Who's Agrippa? Where's Jesus? Jesus, where'd you go? He's right here. Alright, let's go ahead and fur venture further into the study. Oh, we got oil here. Let's put Jesus down a little bit. That's it. Light this up. Picked up flow cycle rod. Oh, I see what we gotta do. The elevator is probably broken, right? And we have to fix it. Jesus. No, no, no. You're not- You're not leaving my sights, Jesus. You're going right here on the table. <clears throat> ah, here we go. Yeah, elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again- We'll read all this at the end. What's up with the music? Refill- Yo, that was a big oil thing! That was huge! Huge oil. We don't want to be wasting it like that, though. Um. Can we break the window? No. Dang, I feel so bad. There's a dog who's, like, dying right now. Who's getting, like, experimented on by some freaking sick freak Alexander of freaking Bonerberg. Yeah, frick this guy. Frick Alexander of Bonerberg. Honestly, dude's an asshole. Dude's a legitimate asshole. God, I don't like this guy. Freaking Alexander of freaking Bonerberg. Get your freaking freaky ass out of here. Freaking hurting animals and shit. Get the frick out of here, asshole. Alright, we gotta take Jesus with us. Jesus, you're, you're coming back with me, boy. So, it looks like that was it for the study, I think? Not seeing anything else. Oh. 
We did find a couple of tinder boxes, which was nice. I guess I didn't need to waste a tinder box on this, because I don't think we're going to be going back here. But we actually, oh my god, we got nine tinder boxes, dude. We're surviving out here, guys. I'm flipping surviving, okay? F this ish. Alright, we're not going out sad. It's the, the Dark Crow shit, or whatever. The Dark Raven Society, or whatever this freaking freaky deaky looking ass dude talk. What the hell? Oh, the, the one of the shields is missing. We got freaking Jesus playing the violin or something. I don't even know. Where did Jesus go? Oh no. Wait, did we lose Jesus? Jesus, come back, Jesus! Please! I didn't mean to abandon you. Where'd you go? I left him right here, right? No. No, 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 no. Where'd Jesus go? WWJD. Where would Jesus go? I don't think that was right, but where, where'd he go? Where'd I put him? Oh, frickin' A. Dude, no! Oh, shit. Dude, where'd he go? Dude, the demon knew. The demon knew. I think I left him back in the other room, right? Okay, I need to stop using this lantern. I'm just wasting oil. Wasting precious res- Ah, he's here! I knew you wouldn't abandon me, Jesus. You would never. You would never. Alright. Uh, is there something that- I've got a feeling there's gonna be something that's popping up in the hallway once we come back. Oh shit, yo, he knocked the tree down? Yo, chill. Oh shit, dude. Yo, dude is a, like... Who doing this shit, bro? Just making sure no one else is here. Okay, so this was the study. Dude, there's gotta be something up with this picture, right? What if we put Jesus next to him? The power of Christ compels you! Yo, this dude looked like a freaking mere. He looked like freaking a meerkat, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I gotta roast this idiot. This dude looked like freaking a mere a meerkat, you know? Yeah, freaking old ass, grandpa ass, freaky ass. Freaking hurting the animals, doing all sorts of sketchy things. Man, he's gotta go. We he gotta go. We gotta we gotta freaking get this asshole out of here. He's freaking hurting dogs. He's hurting me. Frick this idiot. Frick this idiot. Oh no, we can't take Jesus with us. Alright, Jesus, thank you for protecting me in the study. I'm gonna leave you here. As a... We're gonna leave you here as, like, a reversed cursed tool. You know what I'm saying? You know how, like, uh... It's like when you put, like, the suk in his fingers. When you, when you get the suk in his fingers, like, demons start showing... Or, like, curses start showing up. It's just gonna do the exact opposite. It's gonna start warding off the curses. Okay, so this is called the backhaul. That's important to know for me, because I need to put that in the title. <clears throat> so, we made it to the back hall, we made it out the study, and yeah, it looks like we're in a new, like, um, playroom, a new headquarters, just like the entrance hall. Um, there's a bunch of rooms that we can go into, we just went into the, uh, the study, the guest room, you know, nothing hap good happens in the guest room. Uh, we figured out the schematics, uh, to get into the elevator. Or to fix the elevator, excuse me, because I'm assuming the elevator is just broken. What's this? Storage. Can we go in here? I don't even. I don't even. I don't even want to find out. We're gonna end the video here, though. I'm. I'm terrified. I don't want to play this game anymore. This is like the most that I could do. Honestly, it's 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 absolutely terrifying. What is this shit, bro? Oh shit. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame Herbert. in a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But 
but it looks ridiculous. The shade will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. So Herbert was the guy who was with us, who brought us to the uh, Tomb of Tin Hanan. Um, and he was, yeah, he was the guy who brought us there. He was on our expedition. Um, he was the professor in the expedition. So let's end this video. Let me see what time we're at, though. Alright, we're about an hour and a 29 minutes into the video. Uh, we're gonna be like an hour 30, because we're gonna do a little outro here. <clears throat> but thank you guys, everyone who stayed up until this point watching. I did turn up the volume once, and I, I guarantee you guys, it's loud as shit in my ear. It's at 3, which seems pretty low, but it's freaking loud. I'm hearing everything crystal freaking clear, okay? Everything's crystal freaking clear. We got some freaking nasty freaking centipede baby, winged baby angel, devil ain't. I don't freaking know. This shit looked like something out of freaking Jujutsu Kaisen, freaking cursed object type shit. Let's just, let's end the video in front of this weird thing. Alright, my friends. That's gonna be the end of today's video. Part 3 of Amnesia. This game is so freaking terrifying. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know. Okay? Because I'm only gonna get like 10 views per video, dude. So, freaking A. I don't know. I'm doing this for you guys, alright? I'm doing this for you guys. So you guys can see me freaking literally absolutely terrified on camera you guys can see that here okay guys uh, but like I said uh, thank you guys once again for watching the video appreciate all the support for the amnesia series someone chatted in the premiere so you, we I know that someone's uh, people are at least watching it they're you know they're ex they're in, there's some sort of interest in this game and me playing it so thank you guys so much for supporting I'm gonna go skate after this. I need to get my mind off this shit, bro. This shit is... Oh, this shit is bad. I have to edit this video, though, but hour-long videos are super easy to edit, so I'm... I'm slightly blessed. Um, not blessed enough, because I'm playing this freaking cursed game. But, um, yeah, let's do a little rundown of the notes that we collected in today's video. Oops. And, yeah, let's just check it out, because I skipped them. I didn't read them. One of them was really, really long. Um, but let's let's go over the let's go over the notes that we collected in today's video. What the heck? All right, guys. So I think the first note that we got in today's video was letter regarding the discovery of an orb. Because we already we already figured out Wilhelm's last. We figured out what happened to Wilhelm in the last video. Um, Alexander freaking Brennan Bonerberg he freaking killed his ass. So let's start with letter regarding the discovery of an orb. So this is Daniel, right? To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer, the most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is as... It is as inexplicable as the Heliodramas described it in the Hortus Conclusus. Man, what the f... I don't know what that means. It was as it... It was as it was told about in an underground Mithraic temple. What? It was told about and uh, dude, I don't know. An underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cup. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed. Wa its color washed while rich contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility an artificial paradox considered captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstadt investigating one of the antiquated trails. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. Yeah, this is a lot of dialogue. This is the one I skipped. As you can understand, this is the most- so we- I just got a little sneak peek, but this is written by some guy named Agrippa. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. 
Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but they, but, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with the leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, grasping, gasping for air. This certainly most, must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away from the across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Alt Altstad. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Uh, who is he writing this to, though? Ah, to Johann Weyer. So he's basically um, just documenting what he experienced in the forest of Altstadt, in like a cavern near in Altstadt. Talking about the orb, there was a guardian. Um, he ended up taking the orb and obviously pissed off the guardian. Uh, the trees lost its color, they turned into like charcoal and stuff or whatever. Um, there was an unfortunately, there was an unfortunate situation where a couple of innocent fishermen were killed because of this, because of what Agrippa had done, stealing the orb. Um, but it was something that he was, you know, interested for the past 20 years, right? Yeah, the last, I've been looking for the last 20 odd years. Um, so he was determined to do this. Uh, but it, but in the end, he wasn't able to successfully take the orb because the guardian of the orb caught up to him and took it back, um, sparing his life for some odd reason. Because you know, it's, it's odd because why would they why would he spare his life but not the random fisherman who had nothing to do with it? You know. Um, he was actually carried by the Guardian, so ugh, that's kind of creepy. And then, um, yeah, he just, this is basically just his letter, just telling uh, Johann Weyer the truth about what happened in Altstead. Uh, Heinrich Agrippa finally getting the courage to um, write down what he had experienced that day, that night, whatever. Okay, cool. Uh, and this was the discovery of an orb, so animal experiment. This was a little creepy. We didn't read this, so let's start with this. Canis lupus familiaris, 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seem to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic ge genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Eh? So it looks like fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response causing the animal to burst with energy. So fear and pain and stress equal burst of energy. Okay? And that's what these animal experiments were 
being conducted for to understand more about this um, this you know this uh, correlation between the two between fear pain and stress uh, becoming some sort of type some some type of energy energy uh, but it looks like towards the end he whoever wrote this I'm assuming Alexander of Brandenburg he figured out that animals weren't enough to um, produce uh, a animals didn't produce enough of this energy but humans were and that's because of the ability to process what was going on around them so it looks like they started with animals and they moved on to humans that's pretty effed up anatomy frontiers 1658 january 9th further disappointment the antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing i'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power i sense within it i shall pursue more books on the subject but I suspect it will be in vain, since no research has been made in my particular interest. I must attempt to fill that void myself. And here we have reiteration of what was said in the last paragraph of the last note. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would provide less of a hassle to acquire. Okay, this is probably written by Alexander as well. Elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers, levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meters should read up 8, down 8. This is just for probably in-game stuff. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions, 4 phase amplitude. Complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Okay, this is probably for in-game stuff to fix the machine room. Yeah, right here, machine room. Uh, okay, guys, sorry. I know it's a lot of reading, but I like doing this. It helps me understand more of what's going on. Maybe you as well. So we get, we did get some more diaries. I believe this was in the... Um, the refinery? I think it was in the refinery. Uh, so this is more of Daniel's diary. This is actually him returning from Algeria. 22nd of June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition, lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision in retrospect, but I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't, couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there, was there ever a complete orb? Oh my god, guys! I just had a, I just had a horrible thought in my head, dude. Once we, if we, once we, fix, I feel like when we uh, get to the point in the game where we have to fix the elevator, dude, something just horrible, it's horribly scary is gonna happen. I just have a feeling. All right, three days later, 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together. But it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and noted and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care, and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Alright, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here is this little freaking Jujutsu Kaisen looking ass thing. Let's end it off there. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna go into, I guess, like the guest room next. And then we'll go into the storage. And then after that is the machine room. Why is this door closed? 
We're gonna go to the machine room and then it's gonna eventually lead to the elevator to go down to whatever the heck that whatever the heck is down there. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video for today. I appreciate you guys a bunch. But if you guys could before you leave, like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. 500 subscribers is going to be the ghost story on the channel. My my real experience with the ghost. You know, I'll I'll explain it once we hit that milestone. But um, yeah, it's a it's a really interesting story, regardless of. Whether I, whether it was a ghost or not, or I don't know. I honestly don't know what it is. I think I say it's a ghost. You guys can be the judge of that once I once I tell you the story. But um, yeah, guys. Um, I I hate this game. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.